What if Batman actually acted like himself in the Injustice universe and got Superman to turn himself in instead of behave like a madman that gets most of his friends killed? I believe it would look and sound something like this. These inmates are irredeemable. They're thieves, rapists, murderers, like the Joker. True, but delivering justice is our duty, not vengeance. That's the problem fighting for truth and justice. The battle never ends. Endless, yes, but remember it's a battle worth fighting. When there's no more crime, when people can live without fear, we want the same thing, Bruce. We do, but it's the means to that end where we differ. You're supposed to be my friend. Indeed I am, but even friends must speak hard truths. I turned to you when Lois died. You took advantage, manipulated my grief. I offered solace. Manipulation was never my intent. Let's find a path forward. The Joker sickened Harley's mind beyond healing. When she relapses, innocent people will die. Harley's fate is her own. But we stand guard, ready to protect the innocent. I used to be afraid, afraid my powers would make people fear me. Afraid who I'd hurt if I wasn't careful every second of every day. I spent my whole life holding back. My fear cost me Lois. That's why I don't hold back anymore. Power unchecked can be destructive, but restraint, not fear, makes a true hero. Metropolis and Coast City are gone. How many more innocent people die before you accept that some lives need to be taken? Loss is tragic, but taking a life doesn't restore balance, it disrupts it. I took one life to save millions. A single life, yet its loss echoes. That justice was not ours to dispense. Hope isn't enough to save the world. Hope alone may falter, but combined with action, it's a formidable force. I'm sorry. I am a two. Goodbye, Bruce. Goodbye, Clark. <laughs>